to my channel it is your girl essence of shay how you doing how you living how you feeling tiger lily squad what's up what's popping what's good welcome to another edition of locks and lituation aka tiger lily chats what names do you guys like better because i was thinking if i do a locks and lituation every tuesday right soon i could do events named locks and lituations honey but then I was like, but you are my Tiger Lily squad, gang, gang. And you know, Tiger Lily chats. Anyways, in this video, I do have lituations with me. <laughs> Some mango, margarita, and um, my friend, my friend's black whiskey thing. I don't know, girl. I just put like a, a dab in there because I ain't trying to get no chut hair on my chest. Um... So in this video, I wanted to <clears throat> sit there and t and talk about um, mastering your mindset. Since I moved here, um, you guys were so responsive with that video when I was talking about friends. And I think that a lot of times videos like that don't come out because people don't want to be honest with themselves. So when you sit here and you move here by yourself and you move to a new city by yourself, you don't know anybody, what tends to happen is the first thing you tend to do is look for friends, look for people to like chill and vibe with instead of focusing on what's important and that is you, you feel me? So um, I was writing down a few things that were important and I think um, I'm going to try my best to uh once a month i'm gonna have someone do these locks and lituation or these tiger lily chats with me on the channel but uh most of the time it's just gonna be me and you vibing you feel me the first thing that was like the hardest thing for me when moving here was being by myself so y'all know if you have been following me for a while i always talk about this where i don't like being by myself like i don't like it and because of that it caused me to have people in my life who shouldn't have been there you feel me they should have went about their business and gone move around move around like you know what i'm saying but um when moving here i was forced to deal with it because check i've only been here for a month right so these things that I'm talking about, I've only learned in a month. You feel me? So imagine how I would feel this time next year if I actually take the necessary steps and do what I have to do and not go back to the same patterns, which is focusing my happiness on getting it from other people or satisfying others instead of myself. You get what I'm saying? So this situation kind of forced me to deal with the elephant in the room. And the elephant happened to be me. Hello? So um, the first thing first is just believing in yourself. Believing in that you could do it. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop saying, well, if I had this person or if I had that or if this happened to me, then everything would be good. No. Shay, you're good. Shay, you can do this. Shay, you got this. And speaking of that, I would like to say just because a person meditates and says positive affirmations is not the work of the devil. Someone left me a message under my last video that I posted on Sunday where I was showing that I meditated. Like I wasn't chanting, I meditated quiet space, quiet my mind, just think positive thoughts. As I'm brushing my teeth, I'm saying, aff I, there's affirmation saying to me that you're beautiful, you're worthy, you're successful, you got this boo, you're sexodocious, honey. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody made a comment saying that how it's the work of the devil and if I truly believed in God, I wouldn't worry about spirituality. And so Girl, what? 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 what no like i respect you guys's opinions but sometimes you need to think before you send people stuff because not nothing that i did had anything to do with the work of the devil but i digress back to what we were talking about is to believe in yourself once you've really actually i find do believe in yourself 
the next thing is to take responsibility of your life. That goes hand in hand. And with me, I had to do that because, look, I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to be a successful YouTuber. I want to have a successful, a successful web store and online brand. I want Essence of Shea to be a brand that people remember in a positive light that helped you take care of number one, which is you. That's the point of Essence of Shea brand. There's different tiers under it, but that is the point of it. And if I didn't believe, if I didn't start to believe in myself and started to take responsibility of the life that I want, meaning, look, I can't look for at Tom, Dick, and Harry to help me push myself to the next level if I don't even believe in myself. Sis, what? I can't say that I want 10,000 subscribers by January 1st, 2019, but I'm posting one video a week. I cannot say that I want to be snatched, honey. For my 35th birthday, if I'm steady eating these cheeseburgers that taste so good at McDonald's. I can't keep saying that the life that I want, the love that I want in my life, I want this love, but I keep accepting fuckboys. I keep accepting friends that are not beneficial to me. Yo, your girl has become so enlightened in the month that I've been here is be because... It forced me to get like this was already deep down in me. I spoke to you guys about all this stuff all the time, but I never took it that serious because, well, I took it serious, but not as serious as I needed to be because I wanted everybody to be good. But did I really want myself to be good? I wasn't really taking care of myself. I was making sure y'all's mental was good, but not mine's. Now that I sit here by myself, and most of the time, I'm by myself because I don't know nobody. Like, I know two people, but I can't just depend solely on them to have excitement or to whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I work my regular job to pay my bills. And then I do this. I do YouTube. And speaking of my store, it said it was down because I'm revamping the store. But if you guys still want to make purchases of my hair care products, please send me a message and I'll send you PayPal or something like that. Um, the reason why some of the shipments have been really late is because my box that was sent from New York was sent somewhere else and now I officially got it back. But I will be sending you guys back. Whoever made purchases with me, I know who it is. I will send you back your money, but I'm still going to send you the products because I feel completely bad. It's not your fault that that happened. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying is just to this, like, take responsibility of your life. You, I want to be a, a motivational speaker. I need to talk to people who do that. I need to pick their brains to see how, what they did to get to where they are. I want to be a higher content creator i want to work with brands i want this to be my mission you know what i'm saying to change the world the beauty community the lifestyle community with you know what i'm saying this is what i want to do i need to surround myself with people who are doing this and to pick their brains and just like feed off of their energy i can't just sit in my house and expect everything to just come to me take responsibility of your life i want that that love that over-the-top love that makes you just like, is, it makes you so happy that you have some bad days, but more of your days are good. I want that love. And in order for me to get that, I need to take care of myself and know my worth so that I won't let these stupid Negroes into my life who don't need to be in there. Sis, let's get it together, sis. Let's get it together. I need to have... What do you call it? Um, Tang, what is it called? A growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. This is what I want. This has to happen. Da, da, da. This is the rules. Instead of growing, learning, and growing, and everything that I soak in, it's helping me to develop and grow. That's what you need to have. Don't be so stagnant in what you know because sometimes it works, but do you think it's going to work forever? Maybe it will, but you don't know that. But whatever that enters into your life, just learn from it. 
absorb it like a sponge help it to advance you you feel me this whiskey got me talking boy so do you want to be a fixed mindset a person who doesn't believe in change a person who doesn't grow or you want to have a grow mindset a person that grows a person that evolves they evolve with the time they know what's popping they know what's good what do you want to be what do you who do you think at uh is more lucrative and more not even lucrative but happy all around who do you think a fixed mindset or a growth mindset hello i after reading uh think and grow rich um i realized that you have to listen to your intuition you have to listen to what you actually want and i know what i want to do in my life and i kind of knew what i wanted to do for it's not kind of i knew what i wanted to do for a very long time but what happened was is that other people listening to other people that's all good and swell but is that helping you out listening to other people and not knowing my get not having an actual grasp of positive perception of my journey i just was thinking negative all the time or listening to what other people had to say and stuff like that and not focusing on what i truly wanted to do and what my calling really was instead of like okay well everybody seems to like this so let me just focus on that no sis because at the end of the day who is that making happy? Is it making you happy? Not at all. See, the problem is, is we're so used to pleasing others. We get in this cycle that we please others. We please others. We please others. And then by the time you turn 65, you're sitting there looking at the mirror like, sis, where's life? What did I do? Jay-Z is still married to Beyonce. I had that time to reach my hand out to him. I did it. I've been learning that the key is to just be optimistic live my life of purpose understand my goal and that i can create it stop making excuses <laughs> for what because i'm looking at somebody else once you start looking at somebody else's life and comparing your life to theirs or you start looking at a whole bunch of other people's lives and you're not happy with you uh, you have two options either you can continue to do that or you could see what really is the issue because sometimes your life is perfect it's your mindset that got you thinking that your life is effed up and it really isn't so you need to sit down and it's all about self-love sit down and understand like sis what is happening king queen why am i just sitting here miserable but i have my wife i have my kids i have a great job my health is good my bank account my bank account is great i just finished paying off my student loans i really ain't got nothing to worry about why am i sitting here still upset and annoyed with life and if it's the opposite if my debt is always really high i always only have like 25 dollars in my account i'm always hungry every single day i keep getting into the wrong relationships blase blase blah if stuff like this keeps happening you need to sit down and take a step back and just write down everything writing is so therapeutic if you guys haven't already go to my website if it's up i hope it's up by now if it might not be up until friday because like i said i'm revamping it but make sure when it's up you go and you sign up to my email list because i really my newsletter because i really want to start writing a blog at least once a week because some of y'all really like the blogs when i was writing them like i was really serious and like gung-ho about it and i just love writing that's just been my thing that I always enjoy doing. I love speaking to people. I love making people laugh. I love creating. I love doing all this this stuff. But because people kept telling me, well, this is not going to make you money. Because I kept second guessing myself. Because I was looking at others that were doing it and they seemed more successful than me. It all just came up in a ball and then I stopped. I stopped. 
but now I'm focused to like go dig within myself and realize who I am and what I am capable of and you can too sis don't be worrying about nobody else the new year is coming dash away all them negative stuff eh? dash it away and let's start a brand new Anyways, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like chats like this, let me know in the comment box below. Comment in the comment box below. Let's get this conversation started. From now on, I'm going to start commenting on the day that I release the video instead of like a couple days after because I wanted to give people time to like watch the video and like kind of talk about it in the, uh, in the comment box below. But... I feel like it's too late and by then y'all already moved on to the new video because you see your girl is cranking out the content. So I'm going to start talking to you guys as soon as I pop it out. So anyways, Tiger Lilies, I love you again. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.